came in with the style, with the flavor, with the million dollar attitude, smile for the haters, yeah. I've been making rounds, doing favors, I'm the man in the city, I've been feeling like the mayor, yeah. How you gonna act like I ain't stepping, hold up. Okay, guys, so we are now eight hours in. It is 8.30. Well, it might be a little after 8.30. With the Lancome new foundation, it's supposed to be up to 24 hours. And right now, we are eight hours in. So, so far, I haven't retouched, applied any setting spray or anything like that. And it's still holding up pretty good. I even took a nap. And if you know me, my bedroom is white. Like, my bed spray anyway is white. My pillow is so white. And it's supposed to be transfer resistant. And I didn't get anything on my pillowcase. So, while we continue to wait on time, I went out to Ross to do a little shopping. And, of course, if I'm buying me something, you know, I gotta give my kids something. So, I'm gonna jump through, start with the kids' clothes because that's the little quickest part. <laughs> so, I got her a set of pajamas. I might just pull y'all back. Hold on. Y'all look too close. All right. So, a pair of pajamas. These were $3.99 for a little onesie. I got her this little two-piece set that was $6.99 with some little burgundy leggings. And I thought this is just the cutest. It's all pink and it has like, I don't know what type of material you would call these on these little ribbons, but it's on the bottom of the leggings as well. It gives like a little tutu effect and it comes with a headband. This one was, I think $8.99, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, $8.99. And she's on this Minnie Mouse kick. So I got her this. And then the boys, they already got their stuff, but I had got them some Ninja Turtle slippers. And then I got my oldest, he's into Sonic. I got him a little Sonic, which got a toboggan with some gloves because it's getting cold out. I also picked up this, which is a heated neck and shoulder wrap. I've been wanting one of these because your girl, you know, I'd be cold. And I said, well, this would be nice to set up on my little blanket or my robe on. It's weighted. I thought how much was it? Oh, it was $19.99. But it heats in the microwave, cools in the freezer, it's weighted, and it has a lavender scent. I haven't tried it out yet, but it look like it'll be good. It's the back can be worn either way. So I want to try that out. I picked up a few little height, uh, oh, height household items. So I'm always looking around. They had some soap, which is by Method, which is a good brand. And it's a woodland scent. It smells pretty good. This soap was $2.99. And it's a foam soap. Hold on, so long. Yeah, it's a foam soap. <laughs> they also had some set of, how do you say it? Set of fell, cedar fell? Anyway, it's a smooth and relief body wash with rough texture skin, mildly exfoli exfoliates texture imperfection, 24 hour release. I brought two of these. And I tried one out last night and the girl's skin is like extra soft. And this was $6.99. So check out Ross if you like see the feel because this can be a little high at the drugstore. Also got me electric shaver, the $7.99 and it come with batteries. You know, something you keep in your little pocketbook or your little travel suitcase. We need to do a little quick shave. Boom. <laughs> you can't do the whole works. A little quick shave on the go. And they also had, y'all know I love candles. This candle was $8.99 and it's called Amber and Musk. This smells so good. So, and I like the little design of it. Okay, so we got that. I also picked up me some clothes. I've been wanting me a denim jumper for the longest and couldn't find one that I actually like. Fashion Nova, they was tripping. They had they want to pay $60 for a jumper. And I was like, mm, not going to happen. Well, I get to Ross and they had this jumper for $17.99. It's just a plain short sleeve zipper. Come with the belt, straight legs. And I think no one's on Fashion Nova, they were like bell bottoms. So I need to cut this piece right here. This did a meal to wig, y'all. I need to cut that even out. But anyway, um, it was straight leg. And I was like, oh, this is going to be cute. Now, here's the thing. When I tried this on when I got to the house, this thing is hugging your girl. Like, it's hugging. Like, I'm going to need to wear a girdle with this. But <laughs> I don't want to wear a girdle. My, I'm trying to set myself up. And I don't like putting stuff out there and let, until it's like, get your thoughts together. I don't like saying stuff ahead of time. I like to actually just do it and then when it's done, come through and show it. But I'm going to put this out here. I plan on wearing this next month, actually the end of this month comfortably. I don't want to wear no girdle with this, no shape wear, no nothing. So my goal is to lose 10 pounds. So y'all hold me a candle if y'all see me out here snacking and whatnot. Call me out because I'm going to get into this couple. I can get into it, but it's sure look good. I ain't got time for that. I want the thing to flat flat. <laughs> so that's that. I also picked up a little sweater. 
because you know it's sweater season and i thought this was cute it's black and gray what is this kind of crisscrossing the front can y'all see that hold on crisscrossing the front and around the neck it has this little lace and this was i want to say ten dollars i want to say it had been 10 i can't find a price on it but i thought that was cute i can wear this with some jeans and some black boots with the gray of course, I had to get some leggings. I got plenty of black ones. And I was like, you know what? Get you some different colors. Like, I have a pair of gray, but I rarely wear them. But these are, what are they called? Terry line, and these were $7.99. And they feel real soft. Real soft. So I got these. And then I also picked up this little shirt right here. I thought this was cute. I thought I can dress this up or down with some black jeans or skirt. It's like a little turtleneck. It's uh, what type of material? It's very stretchy. Let me look to see. Trying to see because it ain't that silk stuff. Hold on, y'all. Trying to see what material it is. Yeah, so it's 95% polyester, 5% spandex. So it's thin, has a nice stretch to it. And I like a high collar, a high collar shirt. Little but I think it's gonna be cute because I got some red boots, but I also got some black. Depending on the type of pants I wear, which I probably said black, I might wear red. Or do you have to be too much red? Because look at this. There's too much red if I pair with some red boots, or should I keep it super some black ones on? Drop a comment down below. Let me know. Also, I saw this bag. Now let me ask you this. Do y'all still wear Steve Madden? If not, I do. And that's just me. I just wanna know if y'all still wear it. <laughs> This bag is super cute. It was $34 and look at it. Let me take that little plastic out. I like this little crisscross design. When I looked on his website, I think this bag was like 99 and that's what's been on sale. Ross said it. I can't tell the difference from the website. Why was, you know, they're still high when it's literally the same bag. You know what, it was a great color, maybe that's why. But it has the wide strap buckle that comes across Hold on, who's over here? Hold on. Oh, it's on the side. Here's the side where you can hook the other strap to. And of course, on the strap, it has Steve Madden. But I thought this bag was really cute. Something simple. And of course, I went to Ulta. That's the whole point of doing this video is to test this foundation out. But if I would, if you didn't watch me do the full makeup routine this morning, then here's the up close of the foundation that I'm using. It's a 10 Idol Ultra Wear and it has sunscreen in it. The SPF is 25. This was $57. Now, once again, the reason that I tried this out is because usually I am a tinted moisturizer type of person. Hold on, bring y'all a little closer. Usually I'm a tinted moisturizer type of person, but y'all you know, too close back up. Y'all up in my face. <laughs> the tinted moisturizer that I use, they were out of stock. And when I checked other Ulta's in the area, they didn't have it neither. But Land come, of course, on their official website, they had it. And it's $37, but this foundation was $57. And I was like, ooh, that's a bit pricey, but I wanted to try it out. Of course, I, um, what did I do? When you go on Ulta's website, and you can select, like, whatever, like, say I look at this one. You type in the foundation or tinted moisturizer that you're already wearing in the color, and then they can recommend you to, um, like, okay, for me, I wear the O-N, no, O-A-N Honey Tinted Moisturizer. So when I went to the foundation, I put in the bread that I was wearing, and it matched with this foundation. So of course I'm in the store, and I don't like asking for help a lot of times because I feel like I can figure it out on my own. So of course, doing different swatches of different, hold on, what is that? I was doing different swatches of foundation. I was like, oh, that looks pretty good. And then I put it on my arm. And then I put a little on my face. And when I got home, so far, it looks still good. Like, even on the outside, like, it's like a good match. So, I got that. And if I want to fast to show you my lip gloss, y'all know I'm a huge lip gloss fan. Once again, this is the Stella Heaven Dew uh, Gel Lip Oil. So, here's that again, just in case I can get it out. Now, honestly, now that I've tried this out, this is $24. It's definitely not worth it. I, yeah, it's not worth it at all. I feel like the, my, my favorite anyway is, gonna, is that Fenty Diamond Milk, but they discontinued that. But the next in line will be Kylie's 
what is it, Shining Star? And that's $17. This is not worth it. Yes, it's nice. It goes on, it's smooth, but it doesn't last. And also, with this on, you actually feel the glitter on your lips. So when I was on like that, I could feel the glitter. I don't like that feeling. But, yeah. I wouldn't recommend it. It's cute, but not worth $24. So, that's the only thing I wouldn't recommend it because it's not worth the price because you can get something cheaper, obviously. Next up in Ulta, you know when I'm in there, I'm into perfumes and all that smell good. So, I was looking around and they had, what was I looking at? I've never had like the Coco Chanel's and I forgot which one it was. Couple number five, I thought like, oh, that's a big one. Let me try it out. The thing stank. I did not like that one. And it was a different one in there. I can't remember the name of it, but that was actually pleasant. Like when you when I first sprayed it, it was like, mm. But after a while, it kind of mellowed out and it was decent. But I said, you know what? Let me go back and just get this. I got the Daisy by Marc Jacobs. Oldie but goodie, been around forever. You already know when you go to Ulta, if you don't know anyway, to get a, I believe it's like an ounce bottle or is it an ounce and a half? Hey, remember, it's a hundred dollars. So I was going to get that one initially. But then I was like, oh, look at this. This is cute. No, it had to be an ounce. It was a three ounce. It was $100. I can't remember. But anyway, I found this little gift set and it was $79. Well, round up, it was $80, $79. But you get a, how much is this? Hold on. So you get one ounce. Yeah, so 30 ml of the small one, I guess, and then teeny mails. Let me just switch it from the job. But anyway, you get two <laughs> for $80. And I said, oh, well, this is cute because I can put the small one in my pocket with when I'm on the go. The packaging, if you haven't seen it, it's really cute. I love that. The flowers on it. I think a lot of times you have this packaging too because it smells really good. But I also like that it came with, if I can get it out. This packaging is real nice. I like this one too that I can keep in my pocket when I'm out and about. And it smells so good. Yeah. And this has a light um, scent to it. It's not too strong, not overpowering. So check Ulta out for that. If if you like um, Mark Jacobs, like I said, both of these were 79 It was on sale. And then for Brian, I ended up picking up him this Burberry Hero. First, I was going to get the Gucci Guilty because I seen a... Um, who was it? ASAP Rocky was on it. And it was their new scent. And it smelled good. And I was like, oh, I'm going to get that one. But then when I was walking around, because last time I got my, for myself, I got the Burberry, Burberry Goddess. And I was like, oh, that smells good. Let me see what they got for me. So first I had, once again, the Gucci Guilty, the new one with ASAP. I don't know what's the name of it. I just know he's the model for it. But when I got to the Burberry section, I was like, oh my God, this smells good. It is, ooh, child. This right here, what is the scent? I can't even remember what the hell on the little thing. But it smells so good. It's not strong whatsoever. It's not overpowering. And I love the packaging. And check this out, y'all. Check it out. Don't call me geeky. But look, it's a magnetic top. Stop playing with, <laughs> stop playing with Burberry. Stop playing. Get your man, your brother, your uncles, whoever. Get them this right here. I'm telling you, don't sleep on it. This Burberry Hero smells really good. Okay, guys, that is it for this video. Well, it's not it for the video, but for what I'm showing you, more than likely, I'm gonna wipe this off. Cause I honestly, I feel like it's gonna hold up. It's another 24 hours and what time is it? 8.44 now? And I put this on at one thirty. It's doing its job. Like, it really is. Like, no creasing, cakey. None of that. So, once again, I know we were strictly doing... Well, we weren't strictly doing, but the video was originally based around a review of this Lancome. Here it go. Tint Idol. And once again, I got the shade 14 in neutral. I think it's gonna, you know, do its job. Over 24 hours. I don't know who wearing makeup that long, but... If you definitely working your nine to five and you plan on going out to the club, bar, lounge, whatever you do after work, lane coming is the way to go because it's definitely holding up. It's definitely holding up. I would definitely recommend it. $57, eh, a little bit pricey, but a little goes a long way. I only did one pump and it wasn't even the full pump and it covered my whole face. So yeah, I definitely like it. I would, like I said, definitely recommend it. As always, guys, <laughs> as always, 
If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.